Greeting survivors, Fayot here and in this vid I'm gonna bring you a level 25 finalized build for Ash from the Army of Darkness. This is the warrior Ash that you can start the game with, does not need unlocking. Very powerful character, I'm gonna explain why I pick the stuff I pick instead of the stuff I don't pick. So pay attention and I will explain everything. First and foremost, let's look at what Ash can do when it comes to his unlockables via leveling. Wiseman Potion gives him added damage, damage reduction and reduces the fear that has accumulated. Very powerful and you pretty much have a heal on cooldown if you use it. In between encounters you can be at good health and good fear status whenever you initiate combat. Sealed Blast is his passive. Each time your seal loses a bar, it triggers an explosion. Damages enemies around you substantial throughout the run of a complete game and uh, very good for staggering. It causes very good balance damage. Finish strong. After Ash kills an enemy with the finisher, he recovers part of his shield bar. That's why it's very important to build this Ash for shields and finishers. Very, very important. Weapon Master Chainsaw. The Chainsaw has a faster attack speed and deals increased health balance and dismemberment damage. If you can get your hands on a Chainsaw with Ash, with this Ash, it is highly recommended you use it when you reach level 25. The bonuses are quite substantial. And we're gonna build on these bonuses to have the strongest character possible. So how do the trees work in this game? Sadly, in Evil Dead you have to invest in abilities you don't have in order to open up the adjacent abilities. It's a tree like the League of Legends traits tree where you have to go through one of the nodes, you might not want that node at all, but in order to reach the next node and activate it, you have to invest in stuff that you probably wouldn't other than. For example, the last word, the last hit of your combo causes increased damage. I rarely reach the last hit of a combo because I want to get finishers out with this character to steal shield. So this really doesn't help me, this is a wasted point, but what can you do about it at the start of the tree? You have to do it. Without further ado, let's move on to the progression. So, you need 3 levels in Reinforced Amulet, in comics damage is reduced when you have a shield active, and Improved Amulet increases length of shield bars. Why 3 and not 4 levels in this? Because from 2 to 3 you get double the benefit, from 5 to 10%, but then from 3 to 4 you get an additional 2%, which is pretty much nothing. So 3 here and 3 here for the exact same reason. This one offers fear resistance so we're not gonna go there and Season Survivor Elite, Season Survivor Boss and Season Survivor Basics are things we do not want to touch because it is just damage reduction and you need to have sustain in this game anyway if you manage your encounters if you manage your health if you manage your team composition you're not gonna need these meager buffs to your defenses in order to survive now second line we're gonna go artful dodger reduce the stamina cost for dodging don't want this but i really want to go to industrial strength that gives you 25 percent more maximum health just like that I don't need to explain why this is awesome, this is freaking awesome and you want it. We wanted quicker cooldown here but I do not have two points to invest in it, I don't even have one point. If I could take these two points out, that'd be awesome. But because these are core points you cannot take them out, although you'd fit the requirement for point investment in the tree, it's impossible. Devastating Force, increased melee weapon damage 15%, self-explanatory why you want this, excellent across the board. Then go to Cutting Blows, increase the spammer damage of melee weapons. We don't really want this, but we need it to progress the tree and to tell you the truth, 10% more dismemberment damage is not such a bad idea. Razor's Edge, increases dismemberment damage of sharp weapons. The Chainsaw is a sharp weapon and we want this to augment our chainsaw. 
Sting like a bee increases damage with like melee attacks. Heavy attacks are usually a gambit in this game because they can be interrupted by pretty much everything. So you mostly will be spamming light melee attacks. That additional 15% is excellent and you really, really want it. Seeing stars increases the balance bar damage from your melee attacks. With Ash, you want to deal as much balance bar damage as possible because that will open enemies up to a finisher. Note, if you just get a finisher prompt without a red skull above it, it means that you are not killing the enemy, you are just activating a finisher to probably dismember or cause additional damage. Hit them a couple times more to get the skull and have a finisher that will actually kill. Now, why am I not touching the stuff below this? Blunt force trauma increases the balance bar damage from blunt weapons. We don't want this, I'm gonna explain why afterwards. Heavy hitter increases damage with heavy melee attacks. I already explained that heavy melee attacks are kind of a gambit. Here we have tougher than hell reduces the amount of damage you receive. This is good but it's just 10% and we, want that we need to go all the way down here and invest here to open up this line that will not be using just to get 10% damage reduction. No bueno. Second wind. Increases the melee damage will deal with your health drops below a certain threshold. You get added damage as your health drops. At 50% it's a 20% bonus which is quite substantial if you have it maxed. But um, it isn't worth getting here guys really. Because after this we have stunning strikes. Increases the balance damage. <clears throat> balance bar damage from heavy melee attacks. No heavy melee attacks will be used. Increase damage dealt by 100 melee weapons. This is excellent, but it's way too deep to be worth the investment. We have to go through three nodes to get here so we can augment our chainsaw. That's why I prefer getting these two that are adjacent to my flat melee damage instead of going to the trouble of reaching this. Of course, for 200 self explanatory, we're not getting it. And the last one is fighting save. Increases melee damage when your health is above a certain threshold. When you upgrade it to level 3, you get 15% damage when you're at 95%. Okay. You'll rarely be that high in HP unless you have pinpoint shield management. And for me, guys, it's really not worth it. Now. Why am I so adamant about avoiding heavy attacks and avoiding two-handed weapons and blunt weapons? The level 25 buff of this character comes with a chainsaw, okay? If you're not gonna use a chainsaw, you can use another character. This Ash, Ash Warrior from Army of Darkness, depends on using the chainsaw at the peak performance build because he gets a passive buff for it when his level is maxed. Like, you play this character to max him out to get this perk. Why would you not use the benefits that come from this perk? It's kind of self-explanatory. You want to build a strong melee fighter when using this. And this is how the build ties together. Better shields, better health, better melee, better melee with sharp and dismembering weapons including the chainsaw, so you can get in there and kick their asses with the chainsaw. Make sense? So, this is my first 25 level build for a character in Evil Dead the game. I'll see what kind of traction it gets. If you can share it and like it, you'd really do me a great favor because I want to make more of this, but since I'm doing this as a profession, I can't really invest a huge amount of time in games and activities that are not getting any traction at all, if you know what I mean. So if this vid performs, I will be making vids for all the characters at level 25, I assure you. I'm also streaming the game very often now. Uh, hit the notification bell and you will be notified whenever we stream. You can jump on our Discord to find people to play with and all that good stuff. We're very friendly, zero toxicity in my streams, guys. People who talk shit to other people really don't last that much in there. So we'll be very, very happy to have you with us. The game's crossplay, so you can play with us. Until next time, be well, stay frosty, and always drop for perfection. GRs.